everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. I'm back today with another gemstone chip related tutorial, this time for a necklace that I first shared quite some time ago in my 10 ways you can use gemstone chip beads in your jewelry making. And I have yet to do a tutorial on this type of necklace. So as you can see, I have three examples right here on the right for you to take a look at. And instead of doing just one type of gemstone, I've actually alternated two different types in this particular project. So today I'll be using some cherry quartz and some shell beads from a variety pack of gemstone chip beads from bbcraft.com. You can get everything you need from bbcraft.com to complete this project. So I will link all the materials down below. And I also have a coupon code, it's OPAL5, if you'd like to save $5 off your purchase of $40 or more at BB Craft. And they offer free international shipping on orders over $25. So to give you a brief rundown here, besides the gemstone chip beads, I have some four millimeter leather bolo cord, as well as about 32 inches of 24 gauge silver plated wire, two large hole beads, my findings of course, including two of these little end caps for the cord and some B7000 jewelry glue that is going to glue those cord ends in place. Besides that, you'll need some jewelry pliers, of course, and we'll be making approximately an 18 inch necklace today, and that includes about six inches of beading. So you'll have about six inches of plain cord beside the beading on either side. Once you have all your materials, you can go ahead and gather them up, cut yourself about 32 inches of wire, and we can jump into this tutorial. All right, so I have my approximately 18 inches of leather cord right here, and I found that it works really well with this four millimeter diameter. And of course, you don't have to use two alternating colors of gemstone chip beads. You could use one color if you wanted to, First, I start out by taking my large hole bead and my wire and my leather, put these two items together, and then I string on one of these large hole beads onto the leather. And I'm bringing my wire down a little bit with this as well. And you want the bead on the left to be sitting approximately six inches from the end. So you can measure that out to be exact if you want, or you can eyeball it. And you can see that I have moved my wire down a little bit so it's not completely taking up that whole length, but it's enough to where I can start to secure this bead onto the leather. So what I do is just hold the bead in place with my thumb and my forefinger and take that piece of wire and feed it underneath the bead. So that's one time. Then I'm gonna do that again. And I'm gonna do that one more time as well. And you can use your pliers if you want to to help you pull that wire through. But you should have about three loops around that and you should still be able to move this bead up and down. So just make sure it's kind of around the six inch mark from the end of the side of the cord. And then you can just take that excess amount and wrap it around the leather a couple times to secure this bead in place. And you can tuck that in with your pliers as well. And then I like to take the working portion and just wrap that around the other side of the bead two or three times. There we go, and then kind of squeeze that together. And now that bead is in place on this side and we can start stringing on some of our gemstone chips. So from here, take this end of your wire, the working end, and start stringing on some of your gemstone chips, whichever color you wanna start out with. I'm gonna start out with the cherry quartz here to contrast with that bead a little bit. And it's going to take approximately an inch of one color to wrap around. So if you want that alternating colorful look like I showed in the examples, then you'll want to do about an inch of each color down the length of this piece of wire. 
So I'm starting out with the cherry quartz in no particular order of size and or shade of the cherry quartz at all. Just whatever I'm randomly picking up, that's what is going to go onto this wire. And once you have approximately an inch of that, again, you can eyeball it or you can be more precise and measure it if you want. I'm just gonna eyeball it. But once you have an inch of one color, then go ahead and start stringing on the other type of gemstone chip or raw material. So now I'm gonna do my shell that kind of contrasts with that. And now I have about an inch of each of these on my wire. And what you'll do is you'll just start wrapping this around your cord. And you can wait till you have the full length up to approximately leaving about, say, six inches of wire bare without anything on it. I found that approximately 14 or so stripes, say seven of each or eight of one and seven of another to make say 15 is just about the right amount. But get that amount onto your wire, again, alternating an inch of each one. At that point, we'll meet back and start wrapping this around our leather cord and I'll show you the next steps. All right, so here I've alternated eight of my first color, which is the cherry quartz, and seven of the other color, which is our shell beads. And I'm just gonna stretch this out and hold this end of the wire with my thumb and my forefinger to keep that strip of gemstone chips pretty tight against this end. And also something I like to do is just kind of coil that end up and that will help to keep those gemstone chip beads pretty tight as we're wrapping around our leather as well. And then I just take the strand and methodically wrap it around as tightly and as close to the row before it as I can. And you can always squeeze this together at the end also and you'll just wrap this around. It'll end up being around six inches of beading. And you'll just take your time playing with that to get this all wrapped around nicely. Don't worry about the fact that that leather might curl up a little bit. Just throw it over the top if you need to. And you can see how this is starting to come together and you can just slide it down. You don't need to get it way too tight, but don't get it so that it's hanging down at all. And you start to get that striped effect of the different types of chips. All right, and then when you reach the end, just gently uncoil that end of wire a little bit to loosen that up. You don't wanna get it kinked or anything. Just make sure those gemstone chip beads are on there close together so you don't have any huge gaps in between them. So just keep sliding those down. Just like so, and when you're happy with that, you still have this end of wire, so you wanna smooth that out just a little bit. And thread that other large hole bead down onto the leather and also string it down onto the wire at the same time. And that will help secure those gemstone chip beads. And you can just Push this down a little bit, keep playing around with the gemstone chips. They will tend to shift a little bit since they're all a little bit irregular in size. So make sure you don't have any big gaps or anything and the stripes don't have to be exactly perfect. It's not a big deal. It's supposed to be kind of natural looking. And once you're happy with that, you can take the other end of your wire and start wrapping this one around that large beaded bead.
three times, just like we did on the other side to start out with. So take that end and push it underneath. And if you need to, you can take some pliers and pull that out. You'll wrap it around again a third time. And you'll just take the wire that you have left and start wrapping that around the leather. And that large hole beaded bead is pretty much going to cover over that, especially if you kind of push this underneath. And if you have any jagged edges, you can trim those off just to get rid of any excess and push these rows of beads down and make sure that your beads are sitting evenly on the leather. So that is the beaded portion. Then what you'll do is you will finish these off with some end caps. I do have a tutorial for making your own end caps. If you don't have these particular findings or don't plan to get them, you can make your own out of wire. I'll try to link that tutorial in the corner. Otherwise, you will take these findings specifically for the four millimeter size diameter cord as well as some jewelry glue. It can be E6000, it can be GS Hypo Cement. I just happen to have this variety right here. And simply enough, you can just squeeze a little bit on the end of your leather and place the cap right over the top and just maybe twist that a little bit so that it goes over the leather. It should fit snugly, but not loosely and you'll give that a good 24 hours to dry before adding your clasp. So let me do the other side. And it doesn't take a whole lot and this will kind of go down the end cap as you squeeze this on top of the leather and twist it down, which will make this even more secure. And there we go. So I'll let that dry for approximately 24 hours before fiddling with it and adding on my jump rings and clasps. But of course, you can add those on to those loops at the end and you have yourself a gemstone chip necklace. You can even out those sides if you want to a little bit. Play around with that. Scrunch it if you need to. I think it's a really fun look for summer, kind of natural looking. And of course you can get this bolo cord in all different colors. And of course there's all types of different gemstone chip beads and large hole beads. Check down below for the links to everything I'm using today, right down below the video in the description section. And don't forget you can use the coupon code OPAL5 to save $5 off your purchase of $40 or more at bbcraft.com. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know, especially if you decide to give this a try. I'd love to hear about it. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber so you can hit that button while you're there as well. I'll be back again real soon, and until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beating.